A guy has 20 assists and no turnovers. Can you just talk about how clean he was running that offense, especially that high octane offense and the way they kind of delivered late when you guys had taken the lead? Yeah, you know, certainly, you know, he came, he made, he made a couple tough shots, but besides that, he obviously made a lot of great decisions and and, and made the game easier for those guys, you know, and then. You're 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 up in coverage because of the scoring, you know, and then he's un unselfish enough to, you know, when the guy's rolling, either hitting the roll or kind of throwing it behind, create more closeout. So yet there's no question he made some some plays there when we got up by three and he came kind of came back in the game, you know, both a couple, I think he made two threes there that were big, but it was more the spray outs and stuff, and you know that's that's what he does. He's obviously a lead at that. Think about what you got from Dalen tonight. I think he did a great job. You know, it was good. I, I I know, like the one thing for him, you know, last game, you know, against Atlanta, it, you know, he wasn't great for the for the time he got in there. But you know, I he he responded, you know, and gave us really good minutes. And obviously, he was a big part of the group that was out there helping us get back in the game. And Dalen's competitive. He wants to learn, um, wants to get better. And you know, I give him credit for continuing to keep himself ready to play. Do you feel like you're giving them more of a leash now with with Zach being out and? Kobe kind of battling through this wrist injury. Yeah, just it, the, 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 that part of it is just he, like everybody's going to make mistakes. No one's going to be clean um, for an entire game. It's just more the attention to detail on scouting, preparation, those kind of things. And, um, you know, taking care of the basketball. But, you know, he played with really good energy. I thought he gave us a good boost defensively. He was on the glass. Like, he did a lot of things that he could really control. Um, so it's just not necessarily about giving him more of a leash, but, it, you know, him – Certainly playing to his strengths, things that he does well, but also having the detail to understand, you know, there's different guys, different rotations, different coverages, you know, those kind of things, paying attention to that. And he and he's done a good job continuing to get better at it. Billy, uh, kind of, there's some incredible runs in this game, obviously, back and forth, and probably cliche to some extent. But, you know, when you got that lead in the fourth quarter, you know, how much was it, to, you know, the fighting uphill? And you know you put a lot of energy guys in. You played small. You got back in. But at that point, it seemed. I think Patrick Williams had. A, he couldn't make it to five, and then he had a couple of turnovers right after that. Seemed to turn. The game. Yeah, it, it, I, I agree. I mean, we fought our way back. I give our guys a lot of credit. Um, we did. I thought a better job when we were a little bit smaller. You know, I thought it was a tough game from Andre just from the perspective. The fouls kind of took him out of the rhythm of the game, um, and you know, trying to go small, we. You know, we got hurt on the backboard, you know, quite a bit. And we did the ones we were able to come down with clean or at least kind of punch them around and, and get them back. It really led to some good stuff. But I do think we had some possessions like you're talking about that, you know, weren't great. You know, whether it was a turnover or we didn't finish or we broke down and you know we lost the lead pretty quickly. And then it got up to seven, you know, and then now all of a sudden it's five minutes going to game. You're, you're, you're kind of fighting uphill on that. But. You know, I, I don't know. We got down by 23 or 24, whatever it was. But I give our guys credit for keeping their head in the game and not trying to get it all back on one possession, but fighting their way back. Certainly, it took a lot of energy to do that. But you know, I give our bench guys a credit. A lot of it came from our bench guys. You know, in terms of the energy that they brought. Um, I played Demar a lot of minutes. He played the whole third and and, and maybe the first few possessions of the fourth. And. Uh, you know, I thought that group there close in the third quarter was good, and he was a big part of it, so I kept him out there. But there was definitely some en energy expended, and, and probably, like you just mentioned, the, the, some of those possessions weren't great. How important was it that you guys got back into the game in that third quarter? I mean, obviously the defense was good, but it seemed like when you were attacking them, you guys were attacking them with physicality on the offensive end. There were a lot of and ones and guys going downhill. Is yeah. that kind of the way you have to play this Indiana team if you're going to track meet with them, be more physical than them? Yeah, I mean, I think that that was a, a big part. You know, we were able to get down. I think we scored 60 points in the paint on this. So, I mean, we got downhill. We played really aggressively. I thought that was a big reason why we got back in the game. To your point, there was some fouls. We were at the basket. We were taking layups. And they kind of went through a period, too, where they missed some shots. They had some some clean looks that they didn't make, and some of those went in a little bit later. But um, – I, I like the tempo and the pace that we had played with. I thought our physicality was much better in that midway through that third quarter when we got down where I thought in some of the switching and some of the, the, the things that we were doing, there was more physicality there. And that really got us back in the game, you know, was that part of it. 
about them trying to keep up with a team like that when they're hitting so many threes and you know it, it's a game where it kind of looks like you guys need more three-point firepower but how do you handle that when a team's like draining threes on you like that in in i'm not sure i understand what you mean oh, just how do you how do you intend to, to deal with you know, well, what do you have to do to keep up with a team like that that's scoring points so fast? Yeah, I mean, I, I think a lot of it, to me, was I, I didn't love our physicality early to start the game. You know, we got back in the game by doing that. Certainly the three-point line was a huge difference in the game. You know, we didn't shoot the ball well at all tonight, you know, from particular behind the line. And they certainly shot a lot better than we did. And I think they made eight, you know, their 17 threes in the first quarter. Uh, but with all that being said, we were still able to get up, you know, and... There was a lot of things that we did to get back in the game and and and, and get the lead, uh, but we probably didn't do enough of that for a longer period of time. Um, I still believe there's 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 ways you can overcome that. Is it hard? Yeah, it's certainly hard. But you know, I think we showed we could. A lot of it was with our defense, and and they went through a period of time where they didn't score for several times, and that actually enabled us to get out into transition and to play downhill. So I don't think they were necessarily trying to get into a running match with them but I think for any team the easiest opportunities to score off of missed shots and you want to try to capitalize and take advantage of that and I think our guys did a good job of getting downhill and trying to do that. I wanted to follow up on just too quick. Uh, Patrick Williams seems like you know early in the game you go into him he's coming out aggressive and what are you seeing in him lately that you know he's attacking and being much more aggressive on a more consistent basis it seems. Yeah I I, I think that you know I, I I like when guys respond. I think if you look at him the last game against Atlanta, what his minutes were, they were not a lot. You know, he was, he was, it was a game where I personally felt like he could have got a lot more into the game, you know. And, but the thing I love is like he came back and responded tonight, which to me is very encouraging, you know, and very aggressive. And I think he probably, you know, felt that a little bit like this is what I need to do. And it's not so much the scoring, but just the, the aggressive moves. I think the same thing can be said for Dalen. You know, he kind of had the six or seven minutes he played against Atlanta. You know, I, he, he was, I think, wish he would have played better but I, I give him credit they come back and respond and I think that was the encouraging part for Patrick now what you're fighting for for a lot of these younger guys is can they consistently do those things not so much making shots and scoring but can they play with that kind of aggressiveness you know Patrick played a lot of minutes tonight you know I think him finding and even Dalen these younger guys finding even Kobe's played more minutes like I, I think when you look at elite players in the NBA if you take 82 games and you look at it as ten, uh, eight, ten game segments, it's going to be one or two nights on the ten games are off. You know, you gen generally it's the consistency part that makes those guys great. And I think you know, for those younger players, that's what they got to fight for is that consistency. You know, where they everybody's going to bad games, we have bad shooting games, but you know, the consistency of impacting the game. You know, and I think that that's the learning part for Patrick. And even Kobe, with the amount of minutes he's played here of late, you know, how does he take care of his body? How does he do all those things? Those things become, you know, really important. One, one quick one on, on DeMar. Yep. You know, with all these guys out now, you, you mentioned the minutes, and he's, he's playing a lot of minutes lately. And, you know, to get through offensive droughts, you've been going to him quite a bit. Do you have to sort of, I mean, he seems ageless, but do you have to sort of No, I'm him? concerned about that, Sam. I am. You know, he's great. I talk to him all the time, and I, you know, I don't know how truthfully is with me all the time when I ask him how he's feeling. But, yeah, I mean, it's just kind of the situation we've been in. You know, Tory's been out, Vooch is out, Zach's out. Um, we've given some opportunities to, to Dalen's played more like Terry Taylor the last few games. Certainly Andre's gotten more minutes the last couple of games, which is good for them and I think for our team. But, you know, I, I played him a lot and I know he wanted to go back in probably sooner than I put him back in on the fourth. But I thought we were like we were back in the game. It was too, I thought we could steal maybe a few more minutes. But I think he got back in there when it was maybe we were up by three or right, it was right around that time. But, yeah, I, I just I want to. I want to be mindful of that and always talk and communicate with him. And I check with him during the game. Do you need one? Do you want one? Um, you know, and he's always great communicating from that standpoint. But he, to your point, he has he has played a lot of minutes and, you know, probably need to to look at that. I think even Alex's minutes have creeped up, to be quite honest with you, some of these guys out maybe a little bit higher than I would like. Uh, but, you know, the Atlanta game when you're going out there and trying to win and this game you get up by three you're you know what I mean that's in those moments in those games that's sometimes those minutes get a little bit higher but certainly we can probably shave a little bit off Thanks, Coach. thank you yeah